This episode of BFC TV is brought to you by Polaroid. Welcome to BFC TV. My name is Ben, and in this episode, we're gonna give you some helpful tips on how to take better photos with the Polaroid SX70. This is, in my opinion, the coolest camera ever made. And even with its wonderfully simple focusing and shooting mechanisms, there are some key things to keep in mind to improve your pictures. Let's get into it. Using exposure compensation. The Polaroid SX70 has very few settings. You can focus with the focusing dial, autofocus on the sonar models or switch to manual focus. And then there's this wheel. This is your exposure compensation dial and it can tell the camera to automatically meter a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Using the exposure compensation wheel is essential for refining your images. Over the years, SX70s were built with minor varieties in the opacity of the light meter window, meaning some SX70s will automatically produce slightly brighter images and some slightly darker. Finding your happy medium with the exposure dial is an important practice for nailing exposures. We often recommend starting out nudging the wheel about one third toward the left, which sets the camera to underexpose a bit. This is important because original Polaroid SX70 film from when the camera was first released had lower sensitivity to light. The newer SX70 film is a little more sensitive at 160 ASA, so photos will naturally come out a little overexposed if you don't start with the dial toward the darkened side. It's important to note that the exposure compensation dial resets every time you close and open the camera, so keep an eye on it and adjust accordingly. Another reason to employ this handy tool is for contrasty lighting situations. If you're pointing the camera toward a subject that's in shadow, but the background is very brightly lit, the camera will automatically meter for how bright it thinks the scene is. But you want your subject to be exposed correctly, so adjust the dial toward the brighter side to compensate for this. Now, your background may be a little overexposed, but the subject will pop. Conversely, for a scene where your subject is getting beamed by light, I often turn the wheel toward the darker side to ensure I'm not taking any chances with overexposure, especially if the scene behind them is darkly lit, which could confuse the internal meter. While it might take a few shots to really calibrate your ideal SX70 settings, once you do, the images will sing. And I love that each SX70 is unique to you. Like any tool you use repeatedly, you'll find a groove and setting this dial will become second nature, which is much, much better than first nature. Proper lighting for the SX70. One of the most common issues users encounter with the SX70 is that their photos are blurry, shaky, and underexposed. It's important to keep in mind that the SX70 was really built for use in broad daylight. With a film speed of 160 ASA, Polaroid SX70 film has low sensitivity, and using the power of the sun to your advantage is essential when you're starting out. When you're using the SX70 for the first time, we 100% recommend you do so in midday sun, go for the full blast, sun right on the subject, broadly lit, photos will really sing in these conditions. And once you've really gotten a grasp on what the camera is capable of, now you can try backlighting or side lighting with a bit more ease, employing the exposure compensation dial to make sure your subject is exposing properly. For example, in this image, the key light is coming from behind the subject. I bumped exposure compensation up a bit to properly light the subject. And when I say the subject, this person is my wife, and I really should stop calling her the subject at home. Though the low sensitivity of SX70 film does pose some challenges as the sun goes down, this can always be remedied with a flash bar. The company Mint makes a beautiful modern piece of kit that you can slot right into the SX70 for use at night, dim light, or times when you want to really pop your subject in a backlit situation where the background would have been seriously overexposed. Another option is to have your SX70 converted to shoot 600 film. At BFC, we offer the 600 conversion as an option with our repair and restoration service. As an aside, the reason we don't just offer the conversion without the restoration service is that it's not a great idea to just convert your camera to another film type without a full CLA. You know, stuff could snap off. Who knows what'll happen next? The 600 conversion will enable the SX70 to shoot with the far more versatile 600 film type, which has a higher film speed and thus works flexibly in dimmer lighting situations. It makes lighting your scenes much easier and removes some of the constraints that SX70 film poses. We kind of recommend it unless you have a personal affinity for the unique SX70 emulsion, which to be fair, many do, including myself. Close focusing with the SX70. Legendary photojournalist Robert Kappa once said, if your pictures aren't good enough, you aren't close enough. 
One of the most wonderful features of the SX70 is the minimum focusing distance of 10.4 inches. You can get super close with this camera. And with a film format this large that can really bring out beautiful details in your subject, I love the flexibility of being able to get right up there and take a frame filling portrait or detail shot. This kind of close focusing isn't available on most cameras, let alone instant cameras, so don't be afraid to scooch up and get tight with your photos. If you wanna get even closer, there are some accessories that can help you out. Accessorizing the SX-70. Besides the mint flash bar, there are some other helpful tools for maximizing this legendary camera. If you're interested in macro photography, we offer the unique Polaroid close-up lens, which enables close focusing of five inches, producing amazing one-to-one -one scale images. Or if you're looking to really mix it up, the SX-70 filter set lets you bake awesome prism effects into your images. There's something uniquely cool about the way the lensing and chemistry produces these effects onto film, giving you a creative option to stand out from the pack. Using a tripod is also good practice for shooting in lower light and a fun way to focus on composition and perfecting your frame. Standard tripods will fit onto the screw mount of SX-70s, and if your SX-70 is a model without the tripod mount, we offer an added accessory to retrofit it. Remote shutter options like release cables and self-timers can also eliminate camera shake for lower light exposures and let you get in front of the lens for once. These are just a few tips for maximizing the potential of the SX-70. If you think something is going awry with your camera, be sure to check out our SX-70 troubleshooting videos to get your camera back up and running. And stay tuned to BFC TV for more helpful tips, info, and everything analog. Bye.